Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's Sunday and uh, I'm recording this on Saturday, of course, and it's been a long day, so it's probably going to be a short video. However, I do recommend everyone stick around because I'm going to be showing you a very nice trick that we're going to be using. We're going to be using MASH for it, and I think we're going to be able to create some, some cool stuff over here. So this is the lighthouse. It's been a long time, right? A couple of weeks since we last saw it. And um, I wanted to do like this upper part right here, like this guy's right here. But I want to show you a method that I um, that I think will work. I actually haven't tried it, but hopefully it will work. And uh, yeah, so let's see how it goes. So the first thing is we need our planks. And I can't remember where my planks were. So I do remember we combine everything to, uh, to export it. There we go. So we have one plank right there. So I'm going to control D this plank. And uh, this has to happen in the origin because MASH will do pretty much everything in the origin. So I'm going to go here to create. I'm going to go into locator and that locator will be right on the origin. I'm going to grab the plank or actually I'm going to grab the locator and then the plank. And I'm going to do something that we do in the rigging class. I'm going to do a constraint, parent constraint. So now the plank is right where it's uh, right on the origin, which is where I want it to be. Perfect. So let's uh, delete the constraint. There we go. So we can delete that constraint and we should only have our plank right there. Let's rotate this 90 degrees. Perfect. And another thing that we need to bring all the way down there are these things right here, which are like the, like the wooden platforms. So again, I'm going to duplicate one of these guys. So you control D. And um, in this case, since their transformations are not frozen, I should be able to just like bring them there and that's it. So I'm going to grab this guy and this guy and let's uh, isolate them so that we can uh, work with them right here. So I know that my plank right here has to occupy this space right here. So I'm going to probably scale this up. And here's where we're going to use mesh because what I want to create is I want to create a nice like um, roundabout going ar uh, around here and, and just like have the nice distribution in a, in a random way, right? So we're going to be using some random instance nodes. So I'm going to go into mesh and we're going to create a mesh instance, mesh network. Uh, of course, we're not going to be seeing it. So let's grab this mesh repro and the P cylinder, which are the ones that we're going to be using. There we go. And you can see that our mesh are right there. So we're going to go into the mesh network, mesh distribute. Uh, whoop. Let's go into the repro mesh. There we go. And we're going to change this to radium, of course. Uh, now, as you can see, the axis right now is XY. We need to change that to CX. So it's on C right there. Uh, I'm going to grab the original wood small, and I'm actually going to rotate this uh, another like 90 degrees over here. And that should make sure that the planks are now, uh, as you can see, like perfectly laid out. Let's go back to the distribute and let's play around with some of the of the um, attributes so that we can get this thing to to work the way we want. So uh, we're probably going to need a couple more. There you go. And we're going to start increasing the radius here. Let's see. Where are they? Okay. Okay. Another thing we can do is I can actually go to the to the wood right here, the the the, the initial element. And one of the problems that's happening right now is that a mesh will take the um, uh, pivot point of our of our element as the as the basis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the wood small, this one right here, uh, and I am gonna go into its components vertices, and I'm gonna move the components out. See that? So when I move this out, when I offset this thing, you can see that my uh, things over there are creating this very nice um, circular motion. So let's just really, really push it right there. And there we go. So that's like the distance, the offset that I need to have for in order for this to, to work. Let's go back here. Um, I don't think we need this guy anymore. So I'm just going to hide it for just one second. And let's play around here with the repro mesh again. Whoop, there, distribute. And uh, I don't want to do any offset, so everything is going to be on the same at the same file. So I really like I, I, I thought that this was going to work. And as you can see, it, it's working like quite nicely. And I really like this thing rather than doing like a deformer because deformers usually deform the inside part of the object. So you're going to have like this sort of like triangular looking shape, which, by the way, we can do if we go back to the original mesh mesh and we just like extrude this thing out. See that we just scale this thing. And now we're going to fan this out and there are more like uh, like steps. So let's make them like a little bit smaller. And um, yeah, in a very, very fast way, we can create all of these things. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the ability to switch around uh, like the texture. So this is where we're going to be using probably like another tileable texture um, to generate like a, like a random or another kind of randomness, right? Uh, but yeah, like this is, this is working, I think, quite nicely. Um, let's see the radius here. Yeah, full radius. I think we're going to go to like 24, even 25. Uh, the offset is cool. Like if we wanted to do like a spiral, this offset could work like really, really well. Look at this. If you want to do like a spiral staircase, there we go. That, that's that's it. Like that's all we need to do. In this case, I, I don't want any any anything here. Now I do want to have a little bit of variation here and there. I think we're gonna bring the 
there's something there that's gave me like a weird result. Oop. There we go. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add another node and let's add a random node. So if we go again to the do, 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 random node, uh, here's where, where things get fun because now we can play around with the positions on X and Y, for instance, a little bit of on C even, and we're going to be creating this very nice, like interesting looking element. We can change the scales as well. Let's do a uniform scale. It's probably going to be like super, super small, like 0.02 like a scale on y 0 0.02 as well let's do 0 0.02 maybe a little bit more in a couple of them oh no but because it's uniform scale right so yeah i mean we can get rid of this one and then like scale them differently on like the like the thickness the elements and that's going to create a couple of other like different overlaps but as you can see we're, we're creating something really really cool here I, th I think it's looking it's looking nice um let's see let's play around with rotation a little bit no not that one no not really that one now, I don't think rotation is really working. Maybe we want to like skew them a little bit, as you can see there, to get like a like a little bit more, again, like a, like an interesting silhouette. That could work. And uh, yeah, there we go. You can reduce the strength, by the way, of the distortion. So you can go like really, really, really crazy and then uh, modify it. So so yeah. But as you can see, like this is working quite nice. Um, I, I really like using... Whoa! <laughs> my bad there let's control d this guy to duplicate it and now we we pretty much got it out of the of the repro mesh so try like how, how long does it take five minutes it took us five minutes to do this very nice uh example here and as you can see we get a very very nice effect now how can we solve the fact that the that the woods are looking like super like similar well the cool thing is all of this were um originally instanced from the from the same wood right here so one thing that we can do is literally we can just grab like a uv shell like a couple of them and we're using a tileable wood, remember? So if we just move these guys around a little bit, like just grab a couple of them randomly and then just like move them around because again, this is a tileable wood texture. Let's turn this off. There we go. And, and you're gonna see that we, we start getting like more random stuff. So again, let's go UV, UV uh, shell. Let's grab like this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. And let's just move them over there. And then I'm gonna grab that one and that one, and that, one. Oop. that one, that one, that one, that one. Let's move them over there. And then we grab that one, that one. Sometimes you're going to grab the same one. That's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Uh, we just move them around. Uh, and now each of these objects right now, well, this is a whole mesh, but we could um, separate them and then just uh, get them again together uh, or center pivot to each one of them and rotate them uh, randomly. Uh, but as you can see, like I think that wood texture right there looks pretty, pretty nice. The, the, the tile pattern is not as obvious. And if you see any of this, it's obvious. Since we're using a titleable texture, we can just move it around, and there we go. So that's it. That's the little tip that I wanted to show you. Again, I mentioned this was going to be a short video. I need to, to rest a little bit uh, because tomorrow I'm back here at the studio to record more stuff for you guys. So, yeah, uh, let's just position this in where it's supposed to be. We can grab these two guys and this guy. We just snap to point, snap to center. There we go. So that's where this thing is going to be. Uh, we can make it a little bit, like, thicker if this planks are going to be like really really thick uh and then we can just like duplicate this guy get it up here make it slightly smaller of course rotate it a little bit so that it's not the same element and now we can finally eliminate those two guys and we're getting our very nice effect uh for the fence very very similar process like for the fence we're just gonna um well, not for this one, right? But just it's just a matter of placing the the like the wood beams that we have down there and uh, and creating a nice pattern. I don't think this tower is a tower that someone's gonna be able to climb to. So you're probably gonna explore like the outside of the of the lighthouse if this was a game, uh, because I I don't see like a stair. Well, of course the stairs in the inside. So yeah, unless we were to model the inside. Um, that's not something that we would see. So, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Now, don't go yet because I have some uh, very special announcements. First of all, uh, we're working on more courses for you guys, and, um, and we're going to be releasing them very, very soon as well. Uh, so stay tuned because there's uh, there's a lot of things going on behind the, behind the screen that you guys are going to be really excited about. And uh, remember that at the beginning of the month, I mentioned that we were going to have a... What's the word? A live stream. We're going to have live stream. That's my whole schedule right there. So uh, we're going to have our live stream on the final week of January, which is this upcoming week. And it's going to be on the 26th. Okay. So Wednesday, 26th, that's what our uh, live stream will be. And we will do it for India time. Okay. So we will be doing it uh, late at, um, let me, let me think. Okay. It's going to air. Uh, 
my bad. Okay, so Alejandro is now going to be uploading Tuesday and Thursdays, as I mentioned. So we want to do it here on the Wednesday. However, if we do it on Wednesday, that means that I have to do it on third Tuesday night, right? So Tuesday night so that you guys can be online here. Okay, yes, we're going to do it, but it's going to be a little bit earlier than usual because otherwise I'm going to be screwing my sleeping schedule and it's going to be really difficult for me. So it's going to be at 11 p.m. Um, Mexico time. It's going to be about an hour. Uh, so that's going to be for you guys in India. It's probably going to be... It's probably going to be 11 a.m. I think it's going to be 11 a.m. So it's a little bit earlier than usual, um, but we're going to have a live stream. Make sure to bring some questions, um, things that you guys want to talk about. I'll probably be showing you some more MASH stuff because a lot of you have been uh, really looking forward to that kind of stuff. So we'll probably explore a little bit of MASH. And uh, yeah, we're more 3D this week. This upcoming week is going to be fun. Remember this next Saturday, which is going to be Saturday 29th and Saturday 30 or Sunday 30, we're going to have another portfolio review. So if you missed the first portfolio review for this year, do not worry. The submission link will be opened for the next or for tomorrow's video, for Monday's video. In Monday, we'll upload a new uh, video and we'll upload a new link so that you guys can check it out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you back on the next one. Bye-bye. And there we go.